Hey guys, it is time for another pregnancy update. I was just looking back at my last video and I can't believe I haven't filmed one of these for almost two months. The last time I made one, I think I was 15 weeks and now I am 22 weeks pregnant, which is crazy. I have my most recent ultrasound pictures. We know the gender, so we have a lot to talk about. So if you wanna hear all about how my pregnancy is progressing and all about the baby then just keep watching okay so for starters I guess let's go over my symptoms um, thank the Lord I have not been vomiting regularly anymore since about 16 or 17 weeks I do feel like I'm finally getting a bump now and I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. I don't have heartburn. I know a lot of people have heartburn while they're pregnant. I haven't had any of that. My back does hurt me a lot. I find it really hard to get comfortable at night when I'm trying to sleep. It hurts me a lot if I'm like sitting down for a long period of time or like sitting on the couch watching a movie and then I get up. My back kills me after that. Frank wants to say hi. Say hi to Frank in his little Christmas bandana. I have been having leg cramps, which is not fun and also painful. Um, I've been getting like Charlie horses in my legs and in my feet. If I like flex my foot, my foot will cramp up and that's not fun. I know I probably just need to eat more potassium, so I've been trying to eat more bananas and I do think that has been helping. Um, so let's just get straight into the gender ultrasound. We found out at 15 and a half weeks that we're having a girl. Yay! I can't even tell you how excited I am that we're having a girl. Before I got pregnant, I always said that I wanted a boy. I wanted boys. I just felt like I would have a boy. We had a boy name picked out before we ever were pregnant with this little girl. But then once I got pregnant, I just kind of felt from very early on that it was a girl. So it was really cool to find that out and just have my like intuition, I guess, be confirmed. So we're having a little girl who was confirmed again in my anatomy ultrasound, which I just had a week and a half, two weeks ago. It was right at 20 weeks. I was 20 weeks in one day. And they wrote on one of the little pictures, still a girl. So she is a girl, she has a name. Her name is Ellie Reese. Both of those names are really special to us. Ellie is one of my mom's two best friends names and she's just been a huge part of my life and my childhood and I look up to her so much and I've just always loved that name in general but mostly because of her because I grew up around her and her kids. She has three amazing girls so just like that family if my girl can be anything like that family I would love that. And then Reese is Brian's uncle's middle name. His name is David Reese and he's really special to Brian and been a big part of his life. And he's a really great guy, so we just think that's a really good solid name. It is set in stone, we're not changing the name. So yeah, she has a name. So let me run and get my last ultrasound pictures and I'll be right back and I'll show you those. Okay, so here's the huge set of pictures that I got at Ellie's anatomy ultrasound. Um, which my mom actually went with me to. That was really special. Brian couldn't get out of work, which really stinks, but at least he was there for the gender ultrasound. Um, so I got a lot of little pictures. There's her little profile. If you can see, this is the one. I think it's really funny that they wrote still a girl. I don't know if you can see that on there. I thought that was really silly. And here's, it looks, Brian thinks it looks kind of scary, but there, that's like looking down at her face. And she has her little hand up next to her face, which I think is so sweet. They said everything looks perfect, her brain, her heart. It's so crazy how they can, in the ultrasound, say like, there's her four chambers of the heart. Like they can point out every major blood vessels. They showed me her kidneys. She already has a little bit of fluid in her stomach, which is a good thing, so she's learning to swallow. Um, the ultrasound tech said she is a very, very, very active baby. When they first started the ultrasound, she said, oh, she's breached, but that's nothing to worry about. It's so early. Then she flipped over, then she was on her side, then she was on her other side, sideways. Um, so she's definitely moving around a lot. Speaking of movement, I still 
barely ever feel like I feel something that might be her moving. But my suspicions were confirmed in the anatomy ultrasound that I have what's called an anterior placenta. So like if this is my uterus, this makeup bag, the placenta usually like implants on the back side of it and mine's on the front, which absorbs a lot of her kicks and punches and pokes and movement and all those things. That's why I can't really feel it as much. It's nothing to be worried about because mine is still nice and high. They said they would be concerned if the placenta was on the front and it was low because then it can block your cervix and cause complications. It can cause bleeding. You can't give birth vaginally if you have placenta previa, which is where your placenta is on top of your cervix. So thank God I don't have that, but my placenta is on the front of my uterus, which made a lot of sense because everyone at work every day is like, oh, you must be feeling her, you're getting big, you must be feeling her, and I'm like, I don't know, I feel my burrito that I ate for lunch, but I don't really know if I feel her. I do sometimes feel things where I'm like, I think that's her, and I swear to God, when I lay down, if I like poke my belly, I can see a little movement, I can see it, but I can't feel it. So... That kind of stinks because I really want to feel her move, but seeing that ultrasound and seeing how active she is was like such a relief to me. I know that she's wiggling around in there, having a ball, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, they estimated that she was eight to nine inches long from head to rump, and then she said we could add about two inches for her legs. Now that was two weeks ago, so I know she's grown since then. And they estimated that she was about 11 ounces two weeks ago. And she said that's perfect. That's about the 50th percentile, which is what we'd like right now. She's not huge. She's not tiny either. So I'm really happy about that. I have gained two pounds back from the 20 pounds that I lost at the beginning of my pregnancy from just vomiting so much. So that's a good thing. Um, cravings. In the past week I have started to crave a little bit of sweet which is like so abnormal for me I do not like ice cream I do not like candy I do not like chocolate really and I found myself in Kroger picking up a box of donuts that my mom used to buy us when I was little these like Entenmann donuts my sister Courtney will know what I'm talking about so that was weird and I ate those in a few days pretty much single-handedly so I would definitely say that's a craving but other than that I don't have any like weird cravings like I'm not putting pickles in ice cream in chili and whatever I don't know I don't have any weird cravings I don't think I just felt like I started to get a belly maybe two or three weeks ago I started to like feel like it was big enough that I wanted to like take a belly shot so I will insert those pictures and I will get up and show you my belly right now Here's the Ellie belly. Here is it with just the pants. And here it is just bare. Not here. So when I'm just like standing looking at myself in the mirror, I still don't feel like I look like super pregnant. I still feel like I just kind of look bloated. But my husband feels like he can really notice it now. He says that he's like completely noticed that I'm like showing or whatever. So that's comforting that I don't just look chubby. But even if I did, I mean, that's life. Everyone carries babies differently. So, oh, I feel like I didn't have anything super exciting to talk about in this video, but I haven't talked about her gender or anything on YouTube in a video. So, yay. That's how my pregnancy is going. Um, if you have any questions, comment them down below or comments or if you love the name or if you hate the name. I don't really care because that's her name, but you can put it down below if you want to. Thank you for watching this video and probably as I get further along in pregnancy, maybe I'll make these more often because I will have more to talk about. I don't feel like there's a ton to talk about right now. I feel like pregnancy is going by so slow. <laughs> Everyone tells me like it goes by so fast, you're going to wake up and she's going to be here. I feel like this has been the slowest five and a half months of my life. Like. I just feel like it's going by so slow. I literally feel like I've been pregnant for a year. But that's that. That's what's going on with me in my pregnancy. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in a few weeks.